a board, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Okay. All right, let's do this. I know it feels fast, but it's nice, isn't it? To have a family unit. Come on in to meet the boys. They're really excited to meet you. How are you feeling about school? You can meet some new friends. I know why the caged bird sings. Oh, wow, man. that is super nasty. Oh. All right, enough. Settle down. Hey, it happens to everyone. He's made us all cry at one point or another. You should come over after school. What is all this? This is a ceremony to celebrate you. Why would you celebrate me? Because you're out fourth. Just in time for first period. This is all just a little crazy. Half the battle of having powers is believing you do. That's why covens have always been important. We can do that. What else can we do? We need to put a spell on Timmy. We don't want to hurt him, though, right? She's right. The number one rule of the craft if a person is a danger to herself or others, they will be bound. I was starting to get a little worried. Sorry, I was just hanging out with my friends. We've gone too far. Was this just like some game to you? Oh, no. I feel different. Be careful. A lot of weirdos out here. We are the weirdos, mister. Some heavy things. Where you coming from, Mom? It seems like this world ain't getting any better. None of your business. The more Why you try are you to get drinking again? You, I'm tired of living in this car. I spent so many nights wondering when will it end? When will the day come when happiness begins? I'm running the race, but it seems so hard to win. I'm sick of morning, my stomach is throwing up in the morning. I'm calling for help and watching it melt away. My heart's been put on display and put away in many ways. Many times I told myself it was okay. And anger was the price that was paid. While these faded dreams just scream to bring them home. The burden was too heavy, I kept running from the throne. I can't take it anymore. I can taste my spirit hunger God, please help me get home socially distanced Halloween Eve for people celebrating in Roseville this year. Bayside Church's Adventure Campus hosting a first-of-its-kind parade set against the backdrop of COVID-19. All of our team, they did temperature checks and health checks on the way in. Obviously, we're doing masks, socially distanced. The event set in a parking lot haunted by ghosts and ghouls of all shapes and the Mad Hatter and sizes. Happy Halloween. The event even graced by the Good Witch of the North. Good for our kids because our kids have been cooped up from being with school and all that. Mom Felicia Hawker grateful for the opportunity to get the kids outdoors to celebrate their favorite holiday. Just the kids enjoying themselves, you know, instead of having to sit back and watch you family is the best. And for the Roseville High School Band, they have. the parade a chance to get the drumline and color guard back to performing again. COVID-19 put their competitive season on hold. 
we had a chance to come out here and to a safe event, masks and everything, so we took advantage of it and we're happy to be here. And organizers tell us that there are over 40 floats from local community members participating at this year's event. The challenges of this year felt by some of the youngest here. Probably quarantine and all the masks and homeschool and social distancing. But not enough to keep them from sharing encouraging messages like these. Stay strong and keep on fighting. Reporting from Roseville, Stephanie Lynn, ACRA News. addressing a nearly empty St. Peter's Basilica, calling on the faithful to spread a new type of contagion, one he calls a contagion of hope. Around the world, cathedrals usually fill to the brim on Easter, deserted. In Spain, Bolivia, Australia, striking images of empty pews. Instead, parishioners watching live streams from the safety of their homes. And across Italy, a country devastated by the coronavirus, signs that contagion of hope is spreading. Priests taking to the rooftops, parishioners listening from a safe distance on their balconies. Amazing grace. And opera singer Andrea Bocelli holding a concert he called Music for Hope from an empty Duomo in Milan. The performance going viral, his voice filling the void across images of empty cityscapes. The goal, he said, to hug this wounded earth's pulsing heart. The messages of hope tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC
It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle bells. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Looks like Martha Stewart threw up in here. This is delicious, honey. A little dry. Well, mine's delicious. Mine's dry. Do you want to trade? It's, the it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Look at me. <laughs> With those holiday greetings and greetings. How are we going to survive Christmas with 12 people stuck in a house with no heat and no electricity? Or food. There's plenty of leftovers, Howard. Beer it is. It's the weirdest thing. There's no cars, no people. How long can this keep up? We heard something on the roof. What the hell is this? Saint Nicholas is not coming this year. Instead, a much darker ancient spirit. Those are hooves. Elk or a goat? What kind of goat walks on its hind legs? His name is Krampus. He and his helpers did not come to give, but to take. Everybody, hold on to each other. He is the shadow of Saint Nicholas. It's Christmas. Nothing bad's gonna happen on Christmas. <laughs>
Exactly what did you see? Something was following us. This is the most horrific event this town has ever seen. Authorities are calling this the Valentine's Day Massacre. In the town of Harmony, something unexplainable Hello? is happening. Come here, you better check this out. What is it? This January, <laughs> prepare to witness. What do you want? The most frightening 3D motion picture event to tear through the screen. Must be one of the girls. Fixing up the old house way out there from campus. You know about that? Small town. My mom used to live here. She didn't tell you anything about the place where you're going? No. Everything okay? Yeah. Everything. We made sure of it. <laughs> You guys really going off grid. By the end of summer, we'll have moved all our electricity to solar and all our water to the well. There's no internet? No internet and no cell service either. <laughs> Hello? I've got a lot of killing to make up for. <laughs> this can't be real. Yeah. Do I look like a figment of imagination to you? I want me gold. Here's the thing my mom always said was real. Her and her friends blew me down the well to rot. There is a deranged dwarf obsessed with money in the kitchen. It's a leprechaun. He would murder anyone for his gold. Why you look so sore? Audiences love lots of gore. I spent last summer stopping poachers from killing sea turtles in Costa Rica. I can handle a bunch of pocket-sized pixies.
Start to imagine.